What's up? I'm Mike Adam. I'm Jim Shear. And this is the show we call Gimme Five. So this week our topic is best numerically named music acts. This category scares me because I know that when I watch it on YouTube, uh -huh. I'm going to say, ah, I, I totally forgot the most obvious band. I know. And that happens a lot on Gimme Five. For sure. Where For I'll sure. watch and it'll be four or five weeks later and I'm like, uh, what was I thinking? I missed that one. I know. So to err is human, everybody. So. And usually one of our viewers calls us out too, and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Because if you think about it, a lot of these categories are in the history yeah. of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's meant a lot of years. All right, number five for me: Death from Above, 1979. Two man powerhouse rock group from Canada, and it was the year I believe one of the band members was born. And that's how it usually works out when you have a, a date at the end. Okay. Uh, number four, BS2000. Wow. The side project from my man, Ad Rock, Adam Horowitz with uh, AWOL was part of the band. I think Fredo played drums for them. It was uh, great for uh, Beastie fans to listen to when the Beastie Boys weren't touring. Number three, Orange 9 Millimeter, but the fans just called them Orange 9, a great uh, post-punk band uh, from New York City. Love those guys, uh, especially their first three albums. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Chaka, if you're watching, I would love an Orange 9 reunion. Number two, Blink-182. Okay. I I, just, I like Blink. Like they, were, they were a fun band at first. I was a little, I'm like, I don't know. And then, you know, I, I got it, and uh, I miss not having Blink around. Okay. And even when they come back, it's not the same. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They take things too seriously now. And number one... I mean, come on, you too, right? I mean, they're one of the biggest bands on the planet and they have been for a while. That's interesting because I'm not really a huge U2 fan, but I was struggling to get five on here, so I figured <laughs> I'd put them at the number five spot because, you know, better them than two chains or three LW. So, <laughs> so all right, my number five, U2. My number four, 112. I, <laughs> I love the 90s R&B. Uh, 112. Uh, number three, Boys Two Men. That's right. Uh, it's a Roman numeral two in there. Yep. And at the number two spot, 311. 311. Dude, I love them. Such a good band in concert, their albums. They fuse so many genres together. Love them. And uh, at the number one spot, you know, I know his name doesn't have a number in it, but sometimes it was styled. Yeah, no, as I think Tupac. Tupac, yeah. I mean, he's the man, greatest yeah. rapper of all time. He was under consideration, so because I believe if you search on iTunes or through music, it is to yeah. PAC. Yep, that's his stage name. And some of his albums, it has it on there as well. So, and I think the only band that we mentioned that was a true number name was Three Eleven, right? Yeah. 311 well, and, and 112. Oh, and 112. Wow. Yeah. And that's it. I wonder if we could have done a list with just number bands. That would have been crazy. Straight up numbers. Uh, yeah. We would have been limited, but we could have done it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let me know the one I missed or the <laughs> one my, Mike missed below. Uh, for Mike Adam, my name is Jim Shear, and we will see Yens later. I didn't even know what I was going to say.